guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my pet cages. Now ignore this, this is my microphone. I lost the clip to it, so now it's just threading through my shirt. But I thought to do this type of video like I did with my emergency carrier video. Because I tend to change my cages a lot, so to do cage tours, I would have to update you guys like every month because I like to change up my animal setup. I don't like keeping them the same for the whole lifespan. So I thought to do this because then you guys get an insight of what cages I use, why I use them. So I use a type of bird cage and for the longest time I didn't know what it was called, but it is called the Melody Bird Cage. Now this cage does come in different sizes, which I'm going to talk about right now. So the first one you have your single unit, which is your 4 by 3 by 2 cage. And this is the one I use. They also have a little bit of a shorter version. I think it measures about 3 by 2 by 3. So there is two different single units. We then have your double unit, which is this one. It obviously has two doors, and this measures 8 by 3 by 2. You then have your triple unit, which is, again, three doors, and this one measures 12 by 3 by 2. And then you have your split unit, which looks like this. This is my big cage, if you've ever seen the big cage. And basically it's two single units combined together and it has the divider. So this one measures six by four by two. And that is one of the cages I use. And then I have a single unit of the larger one. So I have three cages all together. I use one for my ferrets, I use one for my rats, and then I now use one for my guinea pigs. Now, I used to have Chia in one of the cages, and that is because she had severe anxiety, so she did better in smaller environments, and she liked the height that I gave her. So she was in there, but as you guys know, she did end up having to get euthanized, sadly, due to cancer. So now I have compacted it down and put my guinea pigs in that cage. And I'm going to talk a little bit of why I've put my guinea pigs. One, the cage is still the minimum for two guinea pigs. It's a three by two cage, so it's still big enough for my guinea pigs. And also my guinea pigs are hella lazy. They are not gonna use the room that I used to have. I used to have a five by two foot and I see cage for the guinea pigs. And they literally used one half of it. They never went on the other half. So it was just wasting so much space that could have been used for my other animals that actually will use more space, like my rabbits and stuff. So I decided to put them in that. So now I have three cages and then my bird cage. So it's all very compact, which I really like. So now for the pros, they are extremely cheap. I actually got mine for free off Gumtree. Yes, my split unit was rusted and gross looking, but I cleaned it up, sanded it down and painted it. Now it looks brand new. Another good thing is they are completely customizable. You can make whatever levels you need. You can just not have levels. Like with most rat cages, people will just do a bunch of ropes and branches and hammocks and not even put any platforms in it. So you're actually going to save money not buying a crenation and then just having to remove 90% of the cage to make it the way you want. Whereas this, you can kind of have a blank canvas to it and make it your own. Number three, they are very, very wide range of sizes like I just spoke about. So if you're the type to want a lot of like ferrets, you could get the 12 foot tall cage and you could have up to like 12 ferrets or whatever you need. I know the Ferret Nation and stuff you can add on, but that's expensive, where you can buy a three unit for about $500. The double and split units I find are about 300, and then your single units are about 150, or if you can find them off Gumtree or Craigslist, you can get them for free. 
Chai Lover Pro is the trays. I love cages with trays. I've gone through a lot of different cages in my pet ownership life and I find having trays are the easiest and I see cages I used to adore but they are very annoying when it comes to cleaning especially for guinea pigs like if you're using something like Coroplast you're gonna have to like scoop it out and it's just annoying whereas with these they have the tray so you can just pull it out put it in the bin and refill and another thing with these guys since you can just have them on the floor like I do they do come with stands so you can actually take them off the stands and use the trays on the floor and what I did is because I got mine off Gumtree and it was old and rusted the tray on one of my split cages was actually broken and cracked and it was just really gross looking because they had it outside for the longest time so what I did is I got two 20 gallon storage tubs like this the one I use actually for my fish and I use the lids of it for the tray so two 20 gallon uh, storage container lids fit perfectly in a single unit as the tray so that's actually what I have for my guinea pig thing and it's great because the stick trays of cages will eventually get filled up with odors no matter how much you wash it pee and stuff will end up staining and it will end up getting really mucky just like litter trays so it's nice to be able to interchange then the only con I could think about for these cages is the door is on the smaller side so getting accessories in can be a little bit of a nightmare but I personally have kind of worked around that obviously small hides and stuff you're going to be able to get in perfectly fine Since it comes off the stand you can actually flip it upside down and remove the tray and then you have whole access in so if you're putting levels and stuff it's going to be really easy to put in or if you want a bigger hide say at the bottom or a litter tray at the bottom of the cage what you can do is you can just lift the, the cage put it on the tray and put it back down and boom you have whatever you want in the cage so yes that is all about my cages i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye